And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I just want to share with you my experience with this backlit keyboard from iPassport. Now once we open the package we'll find of course the backlit keyboard, two silicon sleeves and one user manual. Now in terms of the sleeves one of which uh, will fit I believe the Fire TV stick, at least according to the manual, and the other one fits really nicely as you guys can see on screen on my NVIDIA Shield TV uh, remote. Now, as the name states, this is a backlit keyboard and right now it's turned off, but you will see the images on screen. Now, this is one of the biggest advantages if uh, we use a lot of search on a keyboard and we're using it on a dark environment, then it will make total sense to have an accessory such as this one. Now, to turn it on, all we need to do is to press the function key along with the light on key that you guys can see on screen and then after that we can just press any button to turn on the backlit and then if we uh, leave the remote it will turn off the light so that it saves uh, battery. Now in terms of connectivity it's really easy like any other Bluetooth accessory all I need to do was to press the function key uh, along with the Bluetooth key until the light turns on and then after that on the NVIDIA Shields I just add an accessory and then it's searched for the Bluetooth devices available and when it did find the iPad port, all I had to do was to ask to pair and as you guys can see it did Bear it. Now in terms of functions what I can say is that it works pretty well. Now I could even replace the uh, remote control from the NVIDIA Shield from its basic usage which basically it's arrow up, down, left, right and then select and back which we can all do with this uh, particular keyboard but we will not have the remote uh, voice remote control like we have on the NVIDIA Shield remote. So this will be more of an add-on and that's why they've created this kind of sleeve so that we have uh, both remotes at hand. Now the experience was good and if you guys ask me, hey Robert, is this a good option? Then I would see it for someone that searches a lot. We know that it's tedious and boring to search uh, with this kind of remote where we have to use the arrows and then search for the letter one by one so it's a really tedious uh, purpose usually I do suggest remotes such as this one that I've got right over here the A3 with a back keyboard and wireless uh, remote or air mouse to be more precise and so on and so forth but this is actually a good choice if we want to use uh, a complementary with the uh, NVIDIA Shield TV or the Fire Stick TV so in my opinion for Android TV OS or Fire TV OS it makes total sense to put these two together and have a better experience but if you guys ask me hey Robert what about the Android or the pure Android TV boxes available on the market then I would say that this uh, bundle right over here it's not enough just because it doesn't have one very important thing which is the wireless uh, remote function or air mouse as you guys want to call it uh, and that's one of the reasons that I would suggest this kind so that we can browse around because the Android TV and Fire TV OS are made for this kind of remote with just arrows up down left right and so on and so forth while the pure Android experience is completely different and those of you that follow the channel know how it works so a wireless remote or air mouse function it's totally worth it for the pure Android TV. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.